So in this video here, we're going to take a look at how we can use AI for PDF. We're going to take a look at this PDF element from Wondershare. They've integrated a bunch of different cool AI stuff into their product. You can both use it on your computer, your phone, and so on. And we're going to go over a bunch of different examples, how we can do research, make ourselves more productive, and basically just work with PDF files. So you can go in and do OCR in your PDF document is just going to scan the whole document. We can apply AI on top of it. We can go in and do compression, export to different formats and so on. But another cool feature is that we can chat with multiple PDF files and basically just have a chatbot together with our PDF file. So you can take any arbitrary PDF file, multiple PDF file, and you will have a chatbot on one side and your PDF document on the other side. So let's just jump straight into the tool and let's take a look at some cool use cases. Could be that you have a bunch of PDF documents in school, doing research, basically just reading research papers and so on. But it could also be work related where you're dealing with a lot of PDF files or just researching things in general where we can ask chatbot questions about a PDF file. So first of all, I've just downloaded and opened up this PDF element tool from Wondershare. It's also available on phone, both Android and iOS, all the different features, very cool UI, and they also have the AI feature integrated with the chatbot. So I'm just going to take two PDF files here and upload it directly. You can just drag and drop. It will open all the tabs up at the top here, just as if you're using Chrome or any other browser. So it's a very nice UI. I just have these two papers. So the first one is basically just this metric 3D depth paper. So this is really good if you want to know more about your papers, go through them in detail and also just to summarize them. And also the second one here, just so we have two examples to see how fast we can actually like extract information from it and use these cool AI features from PDF element. So first one here, metric 3D. First of all, we just have the AI tool over here to the right. So we have some examples. We can just have it summarize this whole paper, or we can come in like ask questions about specific topics. What is the method? What is the specific method that is used? We can probably just start with that because a summarize would basically just be the abstract. So what is the method used in this paper? And let's just throw it into a chat button. So we can have multiple PDF files chatting with it at the same time. We can just make summaries, ask it follow questions and so on. So it's just a rack based system integrated together with your PDF files. They also have the OCR scanners. We're going to take a look at that in just a second. So while it's just processing it in here, we can just take a look at it. So we have this AI read mode, which can do a bunch of cool stuff. So right now it's just reading the paper. You can chat with your PDF file, but you can also just chat with AI in general. You can choose it from here or up at the top. So now we've got the response back from our chatbot. So it basically just says that the paper proposes a method that combines two different approaches to address metric depth and ambiguity. It deploys an canonical camera space transformation module to resolve ambiguity from various camera models and also utilizes a random proportional normalization law to enhance depth accuracy. I've already read the paper, so this is pretty much in line with what the paper acts like says. So this is really nice. The response is not too long. It's very precise and it's just extract information from the method section here. So if you just go to down and take a look at it, you can see it is basically just the headlines and a basic summary of it. You can probably just go in and ask questions about the different architectures, what type of data they're using, and also make it explain the results. So that is probably like one of the best use cases. So basically just have it interpret the results for you and you can have multiple different PDFs. You can go in and do comparisons between them and so on. So this is a really awesome tool. If you're working with PDF files, research, reading research papers, like creating PDF files and so on. And we have all the tools available directly in here. So once we have done that, we have our PDF chat button and so on. We can also go in if you want to edit it. We can go inside our organize. You can extract it. You can split PDF files and so on. Probably done this tons of times before, like either in university or at work and so on. You've probably tried out all these online converters. None of them really work. You just want to split a PDF files into individual files. Maybe you want to convert some of the pages into PNG files and so on. And you just need all these different online converters where this PDF element basically just combines all of it. So we have some different tools. We also have this AI OCR model. It's just going to extract everything. To start with, we just need to go in and download the model, both the PDF converter, but also the OCR model. Once we have that, we can convert any PDF into PowerPoint, PNG, JPEG, and so on. And we can split it first or do all these other different types of operations on it. 
So now the OCR model is downloaded, we can then just go in and run it. We can also go in and specify the document language. This cool tool here can also go in and do AI translation. So once we have extracted data, it will go in and extract all the text and so on from the PDF document. So you can go in and translate it from English to another language if you prefer that, or basically does doesn't understand that specific language. So right now we're just choosing English, we're performing OCR, it's going to scan and extract all the data from the PDF document and it acts like does it fairly fast. Then we're going to do edits and so on to our PDF document depending on what you want, but then we have also just extracted all the data and can do editing, translation, all these different tools we can apply on top of that. There we go. Now we can see that our OCR has completed. We're just going to open it up and scroll a bit further down. Then we are basically just opening up with our PDF file, so it can go in and extract all the information. It can go in and do summaries of it as well, but we can also go inside our edit mode. There we go. And now we can go in and edit specific regions. So for example, abstract here, we can go in and edit even the text. So I could just delete the 3D. It extracts all information, all the text and so on. So right now I'm basically just extracting everything. You can also go in and add stuff. So this is very awesome. And the OCR is very accurate as you can see as well extracts everything so normally if you're using OCR models and so on it has very low accuracy sometimes it just misses words that it can't recognize or recognize the specific text but now we have the text extracted we can go in and edit it but we can also go in and translate it and also if you have a PDF file you can go in and convert it to a PowerPoint for example let's just try to do that we just save it in our downloads we hit convert it's just going to convert the PDF file into a PowerPoint and that's pretty much it now I can just go inside my download folder. I'm going to pull up the PowerPoint and it will open in just a second. And this is how easy it is to work with these tools, no online converters or anything. So now we can see that it has converted a PDF file into a PowerPoint. This might make more sense if you have a PowerPoint in P PDF file or you basically just like have a horizontal format. So let's just close that for now. It's going to take a look at some of the other tools. We also have the form organized. You can go in and like organize them, move the different pages and so on around. So the coolest things in here is basically like the AI assisted tool. So we have AI chat. We already went over that. You can also do AI summaries. So basically just summarizing the whole PDF document, the AI translator, we can translate the whole PDF or basically just individual words, but we can also go and do AI grammar checks. So before you're sending it to clients, whatever could just be, you have a, have a single or like two page PDF that you just want to run AI grammar check on. It can also do that because it's just extracting all the information, all the text from the PDF file, which is really hard to do, but we can also do AI written detections. So if you have your PDF files where you generated some text with chatbots, large language models and so on, it can also go in and do detections if it's human written or AI written on top of that. The coolest one here, in my opinion, is definitely like the AI translate. So let's just go in and check that. So right now we have our English and let's set the target language. This will probably be a bit hard because I don't understand any other language compared to English or Danish. So I'll probably just try to see if we can find that. It's not supported, I think. So let's just try with Norwegian and also understand a bit of that. So let's go in and translate it. It's just going to sail into downloads. It might just take a few seconds and then we can take a look at the results, which is pretty awesome. So if you find any papers, documents, PDF files, and so on in foreign language, you don't really understand it, but now with this tool, it does the OCR, extract all the information, translate it with AI, you can go in and chat with it. So this can definitely improve your productivity and also just how fast you can research stuff when you're working with PDF files. So I'm using this tool here a lot when I'm just reading research papers, just want to run over something quick, but also I'm working with a lot of PDF files. So just being able to edit them, convert them into different formats and so on, extract information. It just saves a lot of time compared to just trying to find all these online tools. Doesn't work, you'll get virus and all of that. Now we just have a single tool working locally on your own computer and works with multiple PDF files. Take your files, drop it in here and you're good to go. So now it's done translating the whole PDF documents. This is 18 pages that are just translated in about 60, 40 seconds. So it's now just going to open it and let's take a look at the results. So I'll try to understand the Norwegian here, understand a bit, but I'm from Denmark, but let's go in and take a look at how it does. Here, first of all, we can see basically the abstract, the English word, but also the translation under. Just skimming over the Norwegian language here, it acts like looks pretty much in line. I can even understand it just by reading Norwegian. Could be that there is some errors here and there, but again, it doesn't really matter. We just want to understand the content, but it looks very accurate. It doesn't really add any filler words or anything. 
very nice and could definitely be helpful for a lot of you guys out there. So this is a tool that can improve your productivity if you're working with PDF files and so on, and also just have these AI assistants built directly into it and do this conversion, organization, editing, and so on, and extract all the information. Definitely going to check it out. All the information will be down in the description and so on. I'm using this tool here a lot, so I don't have to use online converters. They also have a bunch of other stuff. I've done a couple of videos more covering some of the tools from Wondershare because I'm using it. They're creating some of the best products and everything works locally on your own computer. This one here even works on your phone, whether you're using iOS or Android. Check it out, and then I'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, Happy learning.